how to use slack easy tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can get started with slack as a beginner so let's get into it now slack is a simple and easy to use communication software and it basically provides you with different solutions depending on the industry you are but they provide you with quite a few different things the first and most basic is definitely their communication services but you have specializations for it communication, project management, engineering, sales, human resources, marketing. So whatever industry or team you have, you have a special, more tailorized version of Slack available for you. Now, to get started with Slack, all you have to do is you click on try for free on their homepage, and then you can continue with your Google or Apple ID, or you can enter your email. So I'm just going to click on continue with Google, and now I'm just going to sign up via my Google account. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on create workspace, and this is just going to create a new and simple to use workspace on Slack for you. Now, from here, you're going to name your workspace. So depending on what you are working on, let's say I am creating this workspace for my fashion brand. I'm just making this like a hypothetical fashion brand. Now, after that, you can add any kind of specific project that you might be working on. So uh, the first project I'm working on is first launch and I can just click on next. So that's like my first channel. And after that, you can enter your email. So you can enter the email of people working alongside you. So let's say I am working with another one of my emails. So I'm just going to add myself like so. And you can add as many people as you want. And then you're just going to finish. And now this is just going to load up your Slack page for you to get started. Now you can see over here that I have my simple and easy Slack set up. You can also download the Slack application if you want to have Slack on the go with you all the time. Now, what is Slack and like how does this platform really work? Now on your left, you actually see your basic workspace. Now, if you click on your workspace, you can invite people to the workspace. You have your different tools like your workflow builder and analytics you have settings and administration you have your basic workspace like you can add more uh, channels into your workspace now below that you have your browse slack now once you have like a lot of channels within a certain slack workspace you might have a difficulty finding certain items so for that you can enter the browse slack and then browse for a specific item below that you have your channel so the first channel is first launch the one that i created which is the first First launch for the fashion brand and you can see over here that you can just type on your messages over here and then you can also hyperlink items you can add emoticons you can also hide formatting and you can add certain tags or pin certain messages depending on how important they are so hello this is for everyone working on project zero one and like once you send a message what you can do is click on these three dots over here and then you can pin it to the channel so let's say if you have like an important notification that you want everyone within your team to listen to or to follow or any important guidelines you can just type them in the chat box and then pin them onto the channel and then you can also unpin them from the channel if you want to remove them later on now other than that, you also have notifications, so you can turn notifications off for certain messages as well if you don't want a uh, notification every time someone is like, okay, we've read your message or something like that. Below that, you have two auto-generated channels called general and random, so you can choose to remove these as well just by clicking on the right side of your mouse, and then you can leave this channel over here, and then you can just leave it later on. So you can click on the channel like so, you can see all of the basic channel settings. Now you can also click on add channels to create a new channel. And if you click on your channel and click on the title on the top left, you can see you have your about, you have topics, you have descriptions that you can add. So uh, let's say this is going to be ideas and I'm gonna save. And then you can add a description for your channel. So uh, send your fashion launch ideas as soon as possible with templates so i'm just gonna add like the simple little description and then you also have files so if there are any files that are sent within a certain channel on slack then you can browse them directly from here instead of having to scroll all the way up to find the file then you have your members you have integrations now 
with integrations, you can just click on add an app. And then depending on what kind of applications you are already using or what is the basic need of your team, you can add a application that fulfills that need. So for most people, they usually like to add Google Drive. So if you have like a lot of files that you want to share, a lot of pictures or images or videos or any kind of data that you need to share across your team, then you can just install Google Drive onto your Slack account or onto your Slack workspace and then people can share all their files via Google Drive without having to purchase Slack storage individually. Now, you can also click on your basic workspace over here and then you can go on to tools and then you can click on workflow builder. Now, what this basically does is that it serves you as a simple um, automated function. So let's say if you want to set up a welcome for your teammates, a status update for the team, a daily stand up and check in, you can set any of these up. So uh, let's say I want to set up a uh, daily stand up and check in. So you can just click on set up over here and get started, or you can click on start from scratch to begin creating your own workflow. So Slack's workflow building is not available on the free plan. Now, Slack has great features, but some of its features are limited to uh, exclusive uh, paid only members. So you have to keep that in mind when using Slack. Now, if you take a look at your workspace, let's say I have this for my fashion brand. So this is my account. If I want to create a separate workspace, but I want to use the same account, I can do that as well. And it's very simple. All you have to do is click on over here click on add workspaces and you can just click on create a new workspace and then you can create a absolutely new workspace. So it's going to be on the same account. You can switch between, but all of the data within one workspace is not uh, interchangeable within certain uh, workspaces. So you can have like two brands, you can run two brands and uh, manage all of your communications for all of your brands on one Slack account. So if I can go into my profile and you can see that I have like multiple workspaces within a single account now within your workspaces you can also set your statuses so you can set yourself as active you can set yourself as away so if you want people to communicate with you right now if you want to show up as online you can set that as well and then you can click on update your status as well so if you have like any kind of certain meetings or if you're out sick you can set that on your slack team to better communicate that with the rest of your team members so that is how easy and simple it is to to set up on Slack. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to set up your own Slack account even as a beginner. But before we end this video, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown of the different features of the different price points on Slack and if they are worth it or not. So. Starting off with the free version, you have access to over 10,000 of your team's most recent messages. You can have basic integrations and one-on-one -on -one voice and team calls. Now, what is the basic drawback of having the free version of Slack is that you only have one-on-one -on -one calls. You can't do a team call on Slack unless you have purchased for a paid version on Slack, which I find to be a huge limitation. Now, with the pro version starting at 6.67 USD per month, you can have group calls with your team and you can add up to 15 members for your team calls. Now, you also have like full um, message histories recorded in the pro version and you also have um, unlimited integrations on the pro version of Slack. Then you have the business plus version starting at 1250 USD per month where you have advanced security compliance met with all data exports for all messages and you have around the clock teamwork and assistance with 24 7 customer support and there are quite a few other features like the file storage that you get with each one of these programs you have five gigabytes with the basic free version 10 with the pro and 20 with the business plus now for most people, I suggest that the free version is more than enough, but if you do want to upgrade, I do think that the pro version does fulfill most of the small business communication needs, and I don't feel like anyone actually has to um, add more than 15 people on a group call. Otherwise, they would have just done it on Zoom or Microsoft, which are free to use. So I think opting for the free or pro version on Slack is probably going to be good for everyone. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.